G'day Fish O, Frank from Tackle World Port Stevens. Whilst we're all sort of in lockdown and in limbo and sort of can do a little bit of fishing I guess, I thought we'd do a fishing and tackle tip. So to give people an idea on what to target and uh, I guess to, to give yourself a break and uh, get out there and throw a line in the water while we still can. And uh, basically a fish that I want to look at targeting today is the old dusky flathead and that can be in reach of anybody uh, shore base boat base whatever it may be a lot of people do like using soft plastics on flathead but believe it or not you can use bait and use bait very successfully so i'm going to show you a little rig that i use uh, to catch well some some really nice flathead around the bay and i've been using this little technique oh gee i think since i was about 10 years old uh, great little technique and catches plenty of really nice flatties and you will get some bycatch uh, on this rig and these baits. So you'll get bream, you'll get tailor, um, you get all sorts of critters actually. I've even hooked a cobia on this little rig, believe it or not, um, on the beach. So basically what I'm gonna show you today is a little technique using either a pilchard, a brine pilchard that is, a white bait, brine white bait, um, or some of our local herring uh, to help you catch dusky flathead, mainly in the estuary, shore base, uh, but you can also do it on some of our local beaches as well. So. We'll begin with looking at the bait and what hooks I use. So this is one of our brine pilchards. Okay, so you'll see our brine pillies that we sell. This is one of the smaller size pillies. Um, they really do fit a hook size of around 2030 gang hooks. So, and that's what I actually use. I actually use gang hooks um, to, to present this bait and it's the best way to do it. So the reason I use a gang hook is we want to use the whole pilchard um, and we basically want to mimic that pilchard dying or injured in the water so the flathead come up and have a crack at it. So, like I said, we also use the little white bait as well. That's a little salted white bait right there, but I'll use a smaller gang hook to, to, uh, to put that in. So I might use like a size one, maybe one o, uh, in the little white bait there as well. And like I said, we've also got our local, which I've got cryvac. Uh, you can see there the local herring. So uh, they're a fantastic bait, the herring. Caught a nice one on a herring the other day. Um, if you probably saw our other social media posts where I was doing it in the rain uh, to get a feed for the family. So, and that's what it's all about. It's about looking after the family, looking after your headspace and get out there fishing. So, like I said, um, we'll put that little white bait there. I like to use the little salted pillies uh, that we get in when we actually brine ourselves. So, the best way to do that, like I said, I'm going to use a 3 -0 gang hook right there. Okay, so you can see the 3-0 gang. You can buy these pre-made or you can make them up yourself. I just do the pre-made things because they work just as well. And what I actually do is I line up that gang hook. I'm trying to show you there. It is a little bit hard. So basically, we're going to line up the, the gang hook to the pilly. So that last hook, which is closest to your line, okay, is going to go through the eye. So I'll quickly do a demo on that. So basically line it up. I'm pretty happy there. And I try and get in that blue line there, which is actually the backbone. Cements the hook a little bit better in the pilchard. Go through once. Middle hook twice. I'm looking at the camera as I do this, oh, dead on. And we put that through the eye there. So that's your gang peely right there. Okay, ready to rock. You can see those hooks are nice and penetrated through the fish, but you can see there the hooks are outside the pilchard. You don't want to bury the hooks too deep into the pilchard. You want to have them through the top there. So when a flatty grabs hold, um, I actually give it a bit of free spool. So when I slow one, I'll get to the technique, I'll give it a bit of free spool. So that's your pilchard there, ready to rock. Now the other thing I do, is I add a bit of weight. Don't add much weight at all. I'll actually run a small sinker, either a size one or size zero ball sinker. Now that's gonna sit on top of the hooks there, and it's gonna be free running. I don't like it fixed, okay? And that's to give, number one, a little bit of weight for it to cast, but also it helps actually slow that pilly down, and so when you roll it, it'll actually swim. Uh, so that's what I do there. Um, what we do there is, I like to use fluorocarbon leader, a bit of 14 pound fluorocarbon, okay? It works ideal. Uh, braid wise, yes I do use braid, you can use mono. The reason I like braid is just the sensitivity, and I'll get to that to the moment. So a bit of 10 pound braid works really well, okay? 10 pound braid, ideal. Outfit wise, I like to use either about a two to a two and a half thousand size reel, so we're looking not real big. Flatties, I mean, they grow big. I've caught them up to 99 centimetres inside the bay, um, but they won't 
obviously take too much line. I mean, big flatties might take 20 metres of line at the most, but it's important that you do set your drag right as well. You want to allow that fish to take some line. Don't want to try and pull him in, you never will. Uh, you just want to allow the fish to wear itself out. Uh, and you'll find that flatties will wear themselves out pretty quick. So two and a half thousand dollars in reel. And rod wise, two to four kilo. Okay, that's ideal. So nothing too spectacular. It's a Samaki Zing Extreme. Great little rod there. It's exactly what I use. Uh, two to four kilo, perfectly. Okay, so that's ideal. Seven foot long, so you can cast. Now the idea is, with your pilchard, uh, or your white bait, or your herring, cast it out as far as you can. And what we want to do is just to continue a slow roll. Okay, so nothing too, too dramatic. You just want a slow roll. And you'll actually see that pilchard slowly moving through the water. So what we want to do, like I said before, is act like the fish is wounded. Uh, flatties are laying on the bottom. They're always looking up. They're going to come up and grab that pilly uh, mid-water. So we're only fishing maybe one, two metres at the most in depth wise. So you're not fishing real deep. Um, and some of the areas that I like to fish, uh, any areas where there's weed bed, sand meets rock, and a little bit of current flow. And when you look at Port Stephens, we've got all that. From Shoal Bay, the eastern end of Shoal Bay, where the disability hospital is, the pine trees, uh, all the way through to the end of Shoal Bay, where rocks meet the sand just before the sanctuary zone. Little Beach, between the two walls, is another good spot. Nelson Bay Beach, another good spot. Corlett Groins to Corlett Anchorage, all around Wanda Headland. Anywhere there's weed, uh, sand, and that mixture of rock, flatties lay hard up against the rocks. I've even seen laid on the rocks. Structure is the key, because that's where the food source is. So you'll find that out throughout Port Stephens, even on the other side over at Jimmy's Beach. Um, you'll find all that structure all the way through. Also tides, I like to fish either at incoming tides, so last hour of the incoming, and then start of the running up. Tidal flow is important. Flatties will lay there and in an ambush and look up and obviously wait for their prey. So tides play a big part of it. Also, if you can coincide those tides early morning, late afternoon is ideal. So if you want to come in, obviously it's hard at the moment, uh, or you can message me, you can phone me to discuss any of those areas. It's pretty easy to find. Um, but definitely all good shore-based spots at this point in time that you can go and fish. So that's my little tip on catching dusky flathead on bait. Like I said, cast it out, slow roll. Uh, when a fish eats it, you'll feel a, a, a tap on the line, similar to a soft plastic. Flick your bail arm over, let him eat it for about two or three minutes. Uh, sorry, two or three metres, I should say, not minutes. Let him take a little bit on, flick it over, and then set the hook, and away you go. And it is good fun. The kids can do it. Uh, adults can do it. I still get a kick out of bait fishing, believe it or not, and it's absolutely good fun. So that's our tackle and fishing tip for today, catching dusky flathead on baits. Uh, if you want any more uh, questions or if you want me to answer any more, any more questions, certainly send me a message or give me a call in the shop. And at this stage, yes, you can still call in the shop. So that's it for today. We'll talk soon.